the twelve tribes of Israel, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. Who are the twelve tribes of Israel? And who are they today? According to the scriptures and the word of God. There's no secret. Who are the twelve tribes of Israel and who they consist of? And who are those people today? Through extensive research, faith, and the spirit of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai, we have discovered and has been revealed. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders of GMS who do rule well and who have the 100% truth. That's Great Millstone. And that's being revealed today. I also want to give salutations to all the Akim pushing his truth across the four corners so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. This is Genesis chapter 35, verse 23. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulon. The sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. The sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan, Naphtali, and the sons of of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, Gad, and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him, Padanaram. Today we'll be going over the 12 tribes, each tribe, and identifying who are these people today, according to extensive research, the Holy Spirit, that the Lord has put on certain men, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Simeon, the Dominicans of the Dominican Republic, Levi, the Haitian descents, Judah, The Black American descents. Issachar. The Native Americans from Mexico. Zebulon. The Native Indians from Guatemala, Panamania, Honduran, San Salvador, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. Manasseh, the Cuban descents, Ephraim, the Puerto Rican descents, Benjamin, the people of the West Indies, Naphtali, the natives from Argentina, Chile, Gad, the North American Indians, and Asher, the native Indians of Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Brazil, Bolivia. These are the 12 tribes of the house of Israel, the descendants from Jacob, from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel, and of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand, and of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. And of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. And of the, the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of 
Nephtali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. And the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, Yahweh clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Now in the kingdom, only one third on this side, only one third of our people are going to be saved. And that is going to be sealed 12,000 of each tribe of men. Okay, 144,000. all together from each tribe of, of one third chosen elect men and in verse 9 when it speaks about the great multitude of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb that's talking about the the, the rest of the one third okay that could be millions of Israelites you know, but not everybody of the nation of Israel is going to be saved. Only one third. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 7 and 8. Awake, O sword. It's talking about Esau, which is the so called white man, woman, and child today. Against my shepherd. Israel and against the man that is my fellow saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered and I will turn my hand upon the little ones and it shall come to pass that in all the land saith the Lord Yahweh two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein. Let's read that again. And it shall come to pass that in the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's two thirds of our people. Okay. Two thirds of our people aren't going to get it. Two thirds of our people are going to continue in sin. Two thirds of our people are going to continue to drink of the wine of Esau. Okay. The philosophies, the ways of life. And they're also going to take that mark of the beast, okay, which is the RFID chip. Okay, they're going to be fully dependent on Egypt, okay, which is spiritual, spiritually called Sodom and Egypt today, which is America. Okay, they're going to be fully uh, um, dependent on the government and not the Lord. Okay, not Yahweh, which is their power, which is their father which he wants us to be fully dependent on him. But two thirds of our people will not. Only one third of our people would actually turn back to the Lord. Okay. That's why it says, but the third, the third shall be left therein. That's the one third. Okay. When you, when you look at a pie chart and you divide it into one to one third, you get three parts. Okay. Two of those three parts are two thirds of our people, which which shall be cut off and die. One third, out of out of the out of those three parts, okay, shall turn back to the Lord, okay, and ultimately gain salvation. This is the book of Romans, chapter nine, verse one. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai, I lie not. My countenance also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in mine heart. 
For I could wish that myself were accursed from Yahawashai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Yahawashai came, who is over all Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. These are the Israelites, okay, that Paul was, was uh, pertaining to, okay? These are his kindred, his brethren, according to the flesh, okay? And we pertain to like him. And we pertain to the adoption, okay? Being once Gentiles, okay, and being adopted back in, okay? Because we were given the promises, okay? And we... We're, we're given uh, law, statutes, and commandments from, from, our, from our power, okay, our Father, our God, and we disobeyed, okay? And you can read about that in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15 on to 68. And those were the curses that were given to us, okay? And it's still upon us to this day, as it says in Deuteronomy chapter 28. And that's how we can easily di uh, um, identify. That's one way we can in easily identify who are the Israelites today. If you are under the curses. Okay. It says, pertain of the adoption and the glory and the covenants, the old and the new covenant. Okay. The new covenant, which is which has not been made yet, but but is to come. And it will be made with the house of Israel. And the giving of the law. We were the the, the uh, uh, children of Israel were given the law. OK. And the service of Yahweh and the promises. OK. If you are. Of any of these tribes. That I just got through naming off. And you have a fear of the Lord. Okay. And you are of the elect of these people. Okay. Of the 12 tribes of Israel. Hear these words. Come back to your power. Let's seal the elect. The men that are on the highways and hedges have one job to do that we were that we were commanded by our power okay to go out and, and compel them to come in you're not worried about if we're cursing or swearing as they say or speaking loudly or boldly like men or wearing garments or out there looking like fools to the general public in the world. We are doing the 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 work of our father, Yahweh. Getting ready to seal the elect so that our 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 big brother, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and the angels can come and destroy our this land that we are captive in and the other nations that we were captive in also at some point in time as history shows we're all descendants of slaves we were all in captivity and here we are joined together in our captivity in the land of the north and we shall be saved if you are of the elect and only if you are, are of the elect. And that goes for the men, women, and children of the elect. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect and the body and the hopeful elect. The men that are out there on the highways and hedges doing this work. To wake up the elect so that they can be sealed and we can get out of here. 
Lord willing, this was this lesson was edifying to you. And I want to say shalom and a bob, a ball.